Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord Modded and, well, thank you. That's all I could say to begin with because there are so many wonderfully helpful suggestions in the comments and I'm about to hopefully fulfill one of them. And that is, we need a governor that has the same culture as the faction that we took the town from. And this is exactly what I'm talking about here. This particular town is... Uh, Ar Ar Ari Ariorum? Ariorum? I, I have no idea how to say that name, but whatever the case, this companion is exactly the same culture as that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get her. There we go. Okay, so we've got her now. And hopefully we'll be able to make her into a governor. So let's go and do that. There she is. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so now that should says her owner culture is minus three. I don't know whether that's going to make any difference. As you can see right here, she has... Oh, can I, can I not see right now? Oh, apparently I can't see this right now. All right, I'm, I'm going to show you. There she is. That is her culture right now. That is her culture. So you can quite clearly tell that that is indeed it. And this particular... Um, this particular culture, as you can quite clearly tell, is exactly the same as the companion that we just got. Unfortunately, I am technically the owner here, so I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work out in my favor, but we can only just, well, try it. I mean, that's all we can really do, unfortunately. I would love to be able to have a better idea as to what to uh, really do to, to help us out here, but um, I think you covered everything in, in your comments, and I do appreciate that very, very much. So what we're gonna do is we're going to stop all of my um, all of my constructions and stuff like that because it basically makes no sense whatsoever at the moment because as you can see we have zero construction because my loyalty is extremely low and I'm actually still losing loyalty mainly due to the looted villages the ah as you can see the governor culture has actually taken an effect but unfortunately the governor culture is still only giving me plus one yeah so what I need to do is I need to prevent my villages from being looted. That's pretty easy to do. Shouldn't be too hard. And we also need to have all of the issues be resolved. So that's obviously something that we need to do as well, as well as increase the security. And increasing the security, well, that's obviously going to be a case of pretty much just adding people to the garrison and hopefully my improved garrison mod is going to do that i'm going to find that seed grain for this guy we've already got that thankfully so we could pretty much just give him the grain straight away there you go okay so that issue has been completed hopefully that's going to increase our loyalty a little bit and as you can see these people don't actually have a task even though it does show that they have a task right there not entirely sure what's going on with that but maybe they'll have one in a minute or maybe there's some reason why that's not happening but whatever the case all i can really do is basically just wait here and then just see what happens as you can see we're getting more garrison recruits coming in there and um hopefully uh that's gonna help us I, I really wish this was not looted. If this was not looted, then this would be so much easier for us. But uh, yeah, we're obviously having a bit of a problem with that. We're also having a bit of a problem with the Vlandians, as you can clearly tell. We're having some huge issues with that. So not entirely sure how that's going to go, because we seem to be having some war exhaustion problems with them, which I'm not a big fan of, thank you. And do we have anyone else that actually has a quest here for me? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. So we don't really need to worry about that. I'm going to ransom the prisoners here, actually, as well. And... Oh, look at this! My loyalty! My loyalty is going up! Unfortunately, it is still incredibly low at the moment, so that is obviously still at risk of a rebellion. I very much hope that this is not going to happen. Hopefully this village is going to come back up. And yes, there we go. Now we can finally do it. Okay, needs help with brigands. Yes, I can very easily do that for you, sir. Eight, though. Eight groups of brigands. And this guy needs tools. Okay, sure. I will try to buy you some tools, sir. Okay, so let's just go and try and, uh, well, basically just murder every single looter party that we can find in the general vicinity. And that's 
that's pretty much it. That's all we need to do. So let's hope that we can do that relatively quickly. And I also need to make sure that we find those tools. I have no idea how many tools I'm going to need to... Uh, how many how many I'm going to need to get. But I can only hope that it is going to be enough in the surrounding towns. Otherwise, we're going to have some issues. Can we can we fight those? Come on, get, get, get into the... Ah, phew, okay, it's a little bit difficult to actually get into these fights right now because there are so many other people in the area. It's really making things a little bit tricky uh, because they are just being eliminated so fast. And obviously, we're moving pretty slowly at the moment, unfortunately, probably due to the fact that uh, we have a lot of people in my army right now. Maybe I want to get rid of Nathanos actually in my army right now. Maybe that would be a better idea. Maybe it's going to make it a little easier for me to move around and everything. Or maybe it's just going to shoot me in the foot. Because maybe I have too many horses. I'm not entirely sure. But whatever the case, let's just head in here once again because I'd like to go and see whether they have any tools for sale. They might. And if I'm lucky, they will. Yes, they do. Okay, fantastic. I have no idea how many he needs, so I'm just going to buy every single tool that is there. How many... Oh, he needs 25. Of course he needs 25. All right. I don't really care if you want to pay me, sir. I'll just give you the tools for free. I'm your lord. I should I should be providing the best possible living conditions for you as much as I possibly can. And, uh, well, that's, that's how it should be, right? Yeah, that's how it should be. But unfortunately, it seems as though we might not be able to do that. Okay, what about this guy? Oh, extortion by deserters. Yes, I would love to help you with that, sir. Okay, let's do it. Let's wait. We've got to wait here for some time. There's the deserter party. Come on, come, come, come one, come all. Uh, it's time for you to get absolutely massacred. There we go. Massacre complete. There we are. Fantastic. Okay. Now we're now we're doing pretty nicely. Let's uh, let's kill these guys. Uh, we're getting more war exhaustion. This is a bit problematic, as you can quite clearly tell. We're having some big big problems with the Vlandians, which I would love to be able to resolve, but I also want to kind of keep my own town. You know, if I can keep my own town and actually make a good go of this, we might even start seeing some amazing, amazing changes. And I'm talking about actually having a, a, a working town. You have to work so hard, apparently, nowadays to be able to manage your your city that you've just uh, that you've just captured. So. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so let's hope that the marketplace has now restored itself. Oh, it seems like the... Oh, that was bad, as you can see right there. The Azurai have dealt a rather decisive blow against us right now. Who's these guys? Oh, Caravan Ambush. Okay, that's going to go very nicely too. I hope that that's going to be working really well in our favor. We got some more tools, but unfortunately not a huge amount. We're going to do the caravan ambush in the meantime. Hopefully I'm going to do it right this time because the last time I did it, I was an absolute imbecile and did not do it properly. So let's try and see if I can do it a little better, shall we? All right. So where are you going? Where are you going, sir? Okay. He's going over in this direction. And what, what kind of tasks do I have right now? Oh, yeah. I need to actually uh, go and hand that in. I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, so we should go and hand that in, but let's just do the, uh, let's just focus on the caravan at the moment, because you know me, I tend to go all over the place. It's a mental issue. Mm -hmm. It is indeed a mental issue, so let's try not to do that, and let's try to focus on something for once, and uh, let's just try to make sure that this does not go badly, and uh, these guys will forever thank us. Okay, here we go. Mountain bandits. I assume the mountain bandits are probably going to be the ones attacking them. Yes, indeed. Okay, fantastic. So let's go in and help them out. Let's just go and do a nice little auto-resolve right there. Should be easy enough and a huge amount of prisoners to be taken from as well. I'm losing money by the bucket load, actually. Oh, yeah, and also someone had a really nice idea. So basically, uh, the smithing thing. Okay, because obviously I, I basically said that there's a bit of an issue with me earning money from selling weapons from smithing because it's just so easy, right? Well, what if I, as you suggested in the comments, make it so that it is a multiplicative by my own level? I think you said that. And so basically that would then mean that if I am level 19 or whatever, I'm, I, what level am I actually right now? I'm level 22 right now. So let's say that that is then times a thousand. So let's say that I'm 22, so 22,000. So then I'm not able to sell any weapons 
that are beyond 22,000 in cash. That that does make quite a bit of sense, I gotta say. That makes quite a bit of sense, and I quite like that. So we might end up doing that, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And maybe, as I said, we'll put a limit on how many times I'm actually able to do that. Because let's face it, if I'm able to create a weapon over and over again that is like 20,000, then I can just create millions upon millions without having to do anything. So, yeah, we, we do need to put a bit of a limit on that as well. But I like... I like your thinking. I like your thinking. Okay, so we're just going to say keep your coin. I don't really care about their coin because I want them to be as happy as possible. And we're going to go over here and we're going to see... Oh, extortion by deserters. Oh, thank you. Yes, I would certainly love to do that. There we go. Okay, let's do this as well. So let's just wait here for some time. There's the, there's the deserter party coming in here. And we're going to once again fight them. Fight them to the death. Yes. Okay, there we are. Fantastic. Easy enough. And we'll then just take all of that. And there we go. Now we can hand in the quest once again. And we're just going to say keep your coin because I don't really need it. Thank you. And there's another task. Look at this. How many tasks? <gasps> These guys need tools as well. That is absolutely awful. That is really, really bad. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to do this. I am a little bit worried. Okay, this guy actually does have... Oh, Escort Merchant Caravan. Okay, so that's obviously going to be a much more time-intensive activity. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm even going to be able to do that. Do these fellows have any additional tools? They seem to have not had any delivered, which I am a little bit worried about now. I'm going to buy some grain just in case there is another one of those grain quests. You never know. It might very well be. But it seems like I will not be able to... Uh, oh, this got... Did this literally get raided again? Who raided this? Did it? Or is it just the graphic? No, it's just the graphic. Okay, Whew. I was a little bit worried there for a second. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to just travel over the water very quickly to Zionica and we'll see whether we can maybe get some tools from there because it seems like most of the caravans coming from the northern area do have uh, quite a few tools. And hello there... Encurion. He is part of the uh, rebel faction that was attempting to persuade the denizens of my town to strike against me, which I am not a big fan of, thank you. So I think we're probably going to try and defeat him, if at all possible. So we do now have 100 leadership, so let's see what we can do. Convert non-bandit prisoners 30% faster. That actually seems pretty good. Tier 3 plus troops under your command. Ignore retreat due to low morale. That's actually very powerful. However, in my opinion, this is so much better. But let, let's actually just take a quick look. How much renown do I need? Ooh, yeah. I need a lot of renown to get to clan tier 6. And I'd like to get to clan tier 6. But bear in mind, if you're playing the long game and you don't really care about when you get to clan tier 6 then this is basically useless later down the line because once you get to clan tier 6, that's it. That's your maximum level. But you are, of course, going to continue to be able to increase the maximum company size that you have due to your renown gains. So in general, it could be something that you want to take, but I would be a little bit cautious to do that dependent on what you value more because let's just say that you're going to have a lot of recruits in your army and you don't want them to run away due to them being killed very quickly because they do die really fast then this is obviously going to be a much better option but I'm going to take the renown gain because I want to get to clan tier 6 as soon as possible although that is probably a bit of a stupid idea but now oh well let's do it Let's go in against Mr. Encurion here. Maybe I'm even... Should, do, do I even have the speed? No, I don't. I don't have the speed to actually catch him at this point. Which is really, really bad. Oh. Oh, we're making peace. Oh, we're gonna receive money? What? Why? How are we able to receive money from this? We're actually receiving 410 tribute from making peace with the Azurai. But they're winning. I'm actually really surprised about this. I wanted to make peace as soon as possible because we have a number of vassals that are taken prisoner by the Azurai, and obviously we want them to be um, freed as soon as possible. But anyway, I'm actually going to dismiss Nathanos from my party right now because I want to try and speed up as much as I can. As you can see, I'm actually faster than Encurion now, and hopefully Nathanos is... Yes, he's within range as well, so we're now going to be able to utilize his services in combat without me having to worry too much about 
losing this fellow. And I did the same thing again. Ah, okay. Do you think me okay? Oh, for, uh, he's actually surrendering. Um, do I want him to surrender though? That's the thing. In, in, no, you know what? I'm actually... The enemy is not willing to fight and ask you to spare their lives. Oh, so they're actually giving me a second... Wow, okay. So they're giving me a second chance to decline this. Hmm. Okay, so my thinking behind this is if they surrender, that means that this guy is still going to be running around the world. And generally I don't really like that because then he's constantly going to try and get the town back on his side I would assume that he's constantly going to try and do that so that was the reason why I wanted to fight him because then we have a possibility of him potentially dying in the fight itself however if I take his surrender then what happens not much right not much so I'm I'm gonna wait a minute. What? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with the attack because that was my initial instinct to go for. And I think that kind of makes more sense than us not doing that. Because these are indeed the rebels. We need to crush the rebels as fast as possible. And um yeah, we'll 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 generally see how it goes. But anyway, I'm just gonna do auto delegate as I've said before. Easier fights, I'm probably just gonna continue using auto delegate as much as possible because it really doesn't matter too much either way what happens in these. I am just going to try and focus on well, leveling up my own skills as much as possible. As you can see right here, we gain so much skill from just hitting a couple of people and uh trying to get headshots as well. Look at that. Just insane amounts of skill right here. Look at my riding skill just increasing exponentially. And I'm hopeful for 175. Can I get to 175, please? There we go. Oh, five, five skill points in riding right there. If only I'd gotten a headshot. Can you imagine? It would have been amazing. Yes, there's a neck shot. 14 points. 14 points in riding skill that right there. That's, that's the insanity. That's exactly what I want to see. So... The faster you can ride around on your mount and the uh, quirkier your attacks, you're just going to be gaining so much skill. So jumping and all that stuff, I think also has an effect. I'm not entirely sure because generally I had that a time where I actually jumped and shot at the same time in one of the previous series and I made more experience than I've ever made before. So it might, ver yeah, I, it might be seven, seven skill points right there with a jumping attack. No, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't make any difference. Oh, well, whatever the case, if it does, if it doesn't, I suppose it doesn't really matter as long as you gain a good amount of experience every single time you do it. And we should probably try and get, uh, get our pole arms leveled up as well. But I really wanted to just try and get to 175 crossbows. We only have two bolts remaining, so I suppose it's not that big a deal. And most of the forces have now scattered to the wind. And so it is a lot harder for me to hit anyone because, well, I'm not that accurate. You know, I'm not that accurate with the crossbow. And uh, I'm, I'm very surprised that I didn't hit anyone there. It's probably because I said that I wasn't that accurate with the crossbow. And then it just carried over to the pole arm. Fantastic. Oh, that was some nice damage. Just with a regular thrust? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. <laughs> okay. Well, that was amusing. That was just my horse doing that damage, I suppose. And... Zoom time! Oh, did I, did I literally just do that? <sighs> okay, we'll just... We'll just send them in. We'll just send them in. Whatever. All right. I'm going to... See, now here's the thing. I'm going to let him go, I think. Do I want to? Let me... Can I Can I look at his encyclopedia right now? Okay, so he actually is an enemy of Durthart, which is really, really good. I would like to be able to speak to this guy and maybe get him to... Um, oh, look at that. He has the reputation of being a good friend, but a dangerous enemy. He is cruel, but he is generous and he is calculating. See, now, here's the thing. Is he the leader of his of his clan? I assume so, right? No. 
He's actually not. This guy is the leader. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So this guy is actually the leader. So I would like to be able to speak to this guy. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to let him go because we're going to gain a massive amount of relation from letting him go with the rebels themselves. And then hopefully later down the line, we'll be able to speak to them and maybe just maybe we'll be able to get them to join us. That's the main thing that I'm wanting to do here. I want to try and persuade them to join our faction to make it just that much stronger. Now let's get Nathanos back into my army. It was a good idea, I suppose, to sort of split off a little bit there to make our efforts just that much quicker and the rebels oh this is nice ah oh, finally someone else is having some problems with rebellion as you can see right here yeah fantastic okay caladog's having some problems too i like it all right so apart from that i'm gonna go to zionica because i do need to get some tools i need to get a whole bunch by the way because there is another... Oh, it's only six days left. Oh no, I cannot fail this. If I fail this, everyone is going to hate me. It is not going to be good. And now we have to... Please don't give this to me. I really don't want this. I'm going to vote for this guy, I guess. There we go. We got to 200 charm skill as well, which is really nice. Okay. Whew. Ah, it's a huge amount to do, isn't there? Huge amounts. And it's not even battling. It's actually kind of crazy how much you uh, you actually get to do if you, you know, have to manage your own town like this. Oh, here we go. Town gets a plus 10 loyalty bonus. Well, uh, I mean, I'm not the governor. So, doesn't really doesn't really help me, does it? But I'm going to take the loyalty bonus, I suppose, because that's the main thing that is actually destroying us right now. So what I'm actually going to do is if we need to... I might remove the other governor and then put myself back as governor and then we'll see if that has an effect on loyalty because we just got that perk and it is kind of amazing. So we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, animals in, in your inventory have a very low chance to reproduce. Uh, I don't really care about that too much. Okay, we're going to go for decrease campaign speed herding penalty by 50%. I personally think that that might be better for us. Because some things can change, like your army composition can change at a moment's notice, and then all of a sudden you have a huge herd problem, and you're moving at the pace of a snail. So generally I'd like to try and reduce that as much as possible. You cause 20% more battle morale penalty with ranged kills while mounted, or with melee kills. Hmm. I'm going to go for melee kills, because I'm primarily using a pole arm, I suppose. So it kind of makes more sense, right? Surely? Yes, I think so. And I'm thinking... Hmm... Increases your mount armor by 20%. That seems pretty nice. Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking otherwise, what do I want to spec into? Engineering, It wasn't it? Yes, I wanted to spec into engineering. Let's go for some more intelligence as well. I think that would probably make the most sense because, as I said before, we are probably going to be doing a lot more sieging all over the place. So it would probably be a good idea to have the ability to do that more often. Nice. Okay, we've got 19 tools available here. That's fantastic. Okay, so let's head back to the, uh, head back to the village and hopefully I will be in time. Cross fingers, eh? Cross fingers. Let's have a look. I am, I'm literally hemorrhaging money right now. I might even, I might even need to do a tournament at this at this rate, which is really kind of harsh. But um, yeah, I might need to do that. Well, we'll see. Okay, so finally able to hand this in. Hello, sir. I brought you the tools. Thank you. I didn't really want the fish. You could have kept the fish. No problem at all there. But okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. And now we have another one. We have another task over here, which is... You need tools. Okay, how <laughs> how many tools do you need? 25. Right. <sighs> okay, does the town have tools? Let's just have a quick look. If they do, then this is going to be great. If they don't, then we might have to go a little bit further afield. It is highly unlikely that they do. Mm-hmm. Indeed. It is very unlikely. Okay. So, we've already been to Zionica, so I suppose Sonala is the next best thing, right? So let's go to Sonala and see whether we can maybe get something from there. We are making peace. Oh, look at the... Oh, wait. Where did that go? The vote just got cancelled. I didn't cancel that. 
That is interesting. Okay, so maybe uh, the vote got cancelled for some reason or another. But, oh yeah, they've got n uh, nine tools. Is that actually enough? I have 24. Are you serious? Ah, yeah, that, 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 you know, that always happens, right? That absolutely always happens. Every single time I uh, want to go and get something, whether it's grain or cows or sheep or whatever, there's always that one item that is just not there when you need it. Ah, oh, hilarious. Okay, well, not, not that big a deal. Not that big a deal, but yeah, kind of annoying. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, they've actually got more tools. Okay, fantastic. A caravan obviously came by and they dropped off a bunch. So that is fantastic. So now I can just go back here very quickly and very simply and then just hand these in. There we are. Great. Okay, more relation game with those guys. And now let's take a look. Let's manage the town. Look at my loyalty. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sirs and and, and uh, madams, I suppose. Uh, I don't, sirs and ladies. Ah, yes, sirs and ladies. There we go. I think that's probably it. Anyway, the point is, thank you very much for giving me those ideas and the solutions to all of this because I was extremely worried about all of that. And so it was really, really good that we had the ability to change it. So, okay. What are we going to do now? Well, I want to try and generate more food. So we are going to try and do that. It's going to take 57 days, unfortunately, which is quite a significant amount. But it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, it's better than nothing. And you can see here that we're currently losing food, probably due to the garrison. And you can see here that they do actually take a small value from the marketplace itself. But the most important thing is keeping the villages alive basically so making it so that they do not um do not get raided that is a big big deal so i will try to uh prevent the villages from being raided and we'll just try to continue doing that their, their tasks as well because that's uh, that's also something that we really want to get going with fencing stolen goods i don't think i really need to do criminal activities do i i don't think i need to do criminal activities but it is definitely helping us right here okay so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to stop recruiting i think because there's a garrison of 400 now okay so now we have so many in the garrison here i'm actually gonna do something so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take another 20 or so units out of here so we're just going to take as high level units as we can get our hands on because we might be doing some fighting. And we probably want to give some people to Nathanos as well, but I actually have no idea what maximum company size he even has. So I probably need to check that in just a second. Oh, I really have all tier four? I have all tier 4 and above. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised about that because we don't seem to be really winning that much. All things considered, which is actually kind of strange. But okay, well, whatever the case, let's take a look at Nathanos here because I'd like to see what kind of company size he has. He has 135 still. Okay. But as you could see, look at this guy. Do you remember that I gave him literally like a lot of tier 3 and uh, tier 2 units? I think I gave him maybe 40, 50, 60 of those things. And now all of a sudden he's got a huge amount of, you know, tier 6s at least as well as tier 5s. Actually, wait a minute. Are these tier 6s? No, these are just tier 5s. And he has tier 4s and then obviously he does have a bunch of recruits and things like that. But generally he's, in my opinion, doing quite well for an NPC, of course. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with his progress so far, and we have reduced the garrison slightly. Not a huge amount, but a good amount, I suppose. Okay, so we now... Uh, really? They lost it again? They apparently lost it. Okay, so I'm actually not going to vote for this right now, because I actually don't have a huge amount of influence. And it is going to be a little bit... A little bit problematic to gain some influence at this point. Maybe it would have been a good idea to take that um, take that perk that gives you more influence depending on if you win tournaments or something like that. That might have been an idea. But anyway, basically what I'm going to do right now is pretty much just try and foster a really, really strong town. That's pretty much all I'm wanting to do right here. As you can see, yeah, look at this. This is bad. This is really, really bad. The food going down is a super big problem. And 
we need to do more to um, increase. I'm going to actually see what happens if I actually remove her as the governor. So let's let's actually see what happens. Let's just let the game run a little bit and then we'll go back in and we'll see. Yeah, so that makes no that that's really really bad. Okay, so we want to make sure that she stays in there because she she gives plus 1. So we're going to try and leave that the way it is. And I think the best thing, you know what? The best thing I can do is actually just sell a huge amount of food to the town, I guess, right? That seems to be the next best thing. So let's actually give them a whole bunch of fish. I don't need this this much. So let's just give them a whole bunch of fish. And uh, that's, that's it. Let's give them that. And then maybe they're going to be a little bit better as a result of that. Eh, n no, not really. But maybe it was, it was because the, uh, the game was paused or something like that. Maybe it doesn't really update it uh, that fast. Nope, that is still pretty awful. So it seems like they gain the most from grain. So if I can find a source of grain, which I think is probably over here at Sanala or something like that. I think they have a bunch of grain. Maybe around there, maybe not. Yeah, there's a grain village. There's a grain village, but I think they are bound. Yeah, they are bound to Sanala, so that's fantastic. So basically what I'm going to do is in my off-screen time, I'm basically just going to go over to Sanala and these villages, just buy as much grain as possible. And just slap it in the marketplace here and see if that's going to make a bit of a difference to the food situation until the aqueduct is built or the orchards not the aqueduct Ugh. yes i always get confused about those things but uh we, we could also do this actually village growth mm, no we don't need that we need food so yeah I'm, I'm just hopeful that that's going to be built relatively quickly anyway that's going to be it for this episode um i'm not entirely sure what is actually happening with the vlandians because we were making peace with them but then it got cancelled so i'm not entirely sure what's what's going on there but i suppose we'll find out in due time i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time